Three companies competed for a chance to build and operate the casino project in Rockford, but the city only approved one company for the job. Yeah, our Target 3 investigation reveals that company has financial and political ties to a state senator who helped write the gaming bill. And tonight, one of the developers who lost tells us in an exclusive interview that senator lobbied aggressively against his bid to help his friends. WCI 3's Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield. So, Mark, this scrutiny comes at a time when lawmakers are debating whether they should be allowed to lobby local governments. And, Paul, public records and records obtained under the Freedom of Information Act do show that Republican State Senator Dave Severson was in close personal contact with local government officials back home in Rockford long after he left Springfield and passed that gaming bill and well into the period of time when the locals were looking at which of the three bids to approve and send to the gaming board. Now, Senator Severson insists he was not lobbying, he was not paid directly, but his campaign donors and his business associates had a lot at stake. This key piece of legislation Senator Dave Severson led the charge for Republicans to promote six new casinos with a lot riding on the line in his hometown of Rockford. Thousands of jobs and billions of dollars of construction. One of those construction companies, Ringland Johnson, is owned by Brent Johnson, one of Severson's biggest campaign donors who invested in the Hard Rock Casino and is in line to win the contract to build it if the gaming board awards Hard Rock a license. Johnson and his trust combined to donate more than $96,000 to Severson's campaign fund. Severson's business partner, Rick Nielsen, also backed the Hard Rock bid. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame musician from Cheap Trick owns a share of the Stockholm Inn with Severson. His spouse is listed as a casino investor. Business partner with Senator Severson, or oh, how I, would you describe I, he, He's the brains, I'm just the, the eye candy. Nielsen lobbied state lawmakers to give Rockford a casino, and when they did, Severson returned home to start working local officials. At a county meeting in August, Severson passed out copies of this map he had printed off the Internet. It included handwritten notes as evidence the county should support the casino bid nearest the highway that his donors and partners had already invested in. The problem with going into downtown locations, despite what people would like or wish it to be, uh, they're not economic generators. When the casino comes into an area, people go there, they stay there, they shop in this casino, they eat in the casino, and the restaurants and shops around it get devastated. And I know you've seen pictures, every single casino in Illinois, look at the economic development around it, you see that it doesn't, it actually hurts economic development. Did it's, you feel that he was competing actively against you? I, I think there's a lot of language that actively showed he was. Ron Kluwer applied to put a casino here on riverfront property adjacent to the downtown area. The city denied his application. The timeline is was aggressive. He feels the city set the bar too high, sped the process up, effectively sidelined competition, and gave a clear advantage to insiders connected to Severson, who already knew the law inside and out. He clearly is lobbying. He was absolutely lobbying. Had Rockford used the same standards as other cities approved for a casino in Illinois, Kluwer predicts his bid would have stood a chance before the gaming board. Dave works to move an agenda. Um, I'm not exactly sure who's interests those are. I don't believe he represents me and my interests now. How confident are you that you could have pulled it off? Oh, I know we could have pulled it off. What we still don't know, are there mystery investors hidden behind trusts who stand to profit on the casino? All the investors should be publicly available. The city did publish a list of investors, but out of four trusts, only the names of the trustees, not the beneficiaries, are public. Taxpayers should be able to know who they are. Right, trust or no trust, they knew when they set that up what was the effect of that would be. Senator Severson insists he is not personally invested in this casino deal. He also maintains he did not lobby. But, Paul, both of those things under current state law in Illinois would be legal. Or, as we say in Illinois, that's not illegal, it's just politics. Yeah, certainly, and as Too Short said, don't hate the playa, hate the game. That's just the way the rules are written. Mark <laughs> Maxwell reporting from Springfield. Mark, thanks. You always know how to make Mark I, laugh. I mean, <laughs> a transition unlike, unlike any no, other. I was going to talk about my snow boots, but <laughs> that's a lot less interesting. You can. <laughs>